Hello my friends, Mr. Nomad Ben here. So today's adventure, we're picking it up from last week from my adventure with my friend Andy from Andy's Journeys as we explored a little bit of the Lookout Mountain area during the Boulder Festival. Uh, all that area that's preserved by the Lookout Mountain Conservatory. But as I'm on my way back home, I decided to make it a separate vlog so I could keep it for the next uh, set of adventures to do for the 2023 season. And um, right now, I feel like kind of pointing to some like some a town update toward Dalton but right now I'm on the border of Tennessee and Georgia as 75 is right behind me so as I'm driving by I feel figured I might as well stop by and give homage to a particular outdoor store that doesn't exist here anymore there's one that's in Ackworth Georgia but it's absorbed by the Bass Pro Company so I'm inviting you to come with me check out this building and what I think should be next to take over the business building here and then we'll make our way toward Dalton and then uh, kind of show you what's the what's next for the town especially right off of 75. I'm inviting you to come join me and here we go. It's all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. I tell us all about the finer points of living and traveling. Food, beer, history, nature, quest, every corner of the song to the great Midwest. Tell us all about where you've been, Nomad Ben. And right now we're in the Georgia side of the border because if you go maybe past that Fort Lee sign, you'll probably enter territory of Tennessee. So I believe that sign right there, as a matter of fact, that says welcome to Georgia. So not even an eighth of a mile. You can see that we just crossed into state lines. You're greeted by Costco and their gas station. But my friends, did you guys know that right on the border of the two states used to be a Cabela's? until it was uh, officially absorbed by Bass Pro. So if you go down this direction, right off of the exit, heading into Eastridge, Bass Pro is just right over there. So I guess um, when the merger happened, the Bass Pro eventually absorbed Cabela's uh, customers and the uh, merchandise and all that, and then now it just became a shell of a building. Now on this side, you can see where all the flagpoles used to be over there, and you can clearly see where it says Cabela's, right here i kind of want to walk around the property but there's signs throughout the parking lot and the building itself it says no trespassing so i want to respect that but what would be good to take over this cabela's building and if you have to ask me personally i think maybe like a uh indoor theme park or even maybe like a, another kind of boutique hotel could probably work uh just something catchy and something creative I don't know, that's just me, but uh, it's a big enough building and you could definitely do a lot with it. So uh, I just think something cool should happen here and uh, it'll give a chance to bring more tourists on this side of the state. But who knows, Just um, I have no idea what's going on, but if anybody that lives in the Rossville, Georgia area or Northwest Georgia area, and you guys know anything, what this Cabela's might become sometime, please leave in the comments below. But I'm just telling you, I think that would be actually be a really cool idea, like an indoor theme park or hotel would actually be a pretty nice spot for this. All right, let's head back to Dalton. Something to point out to you guys. So this is Cloud Springs Road right here, and then there's the drop-off from the interstate. So make your way off the interstate down Cloud Springs Road. You could go down that direction, that way, and then you could make your way over to Lake Winnie Theme Park. So something I've got to let you guys know once you cross into uh, Rossville, Georgia. And as you get off the Ringgold Dunnell Hill exit toward Georgia, you make your way off of Bandy Lane, you'll encounter this giant mouse. And this is a pest control company. Little fact about that mouse, when it's nighttime, the eyes glow red as you drive. So it definitely will throw you off as you drive. But that is just one big spooky mouse. But that cheese looks good. So as you're driving on 75 South, you'll see uh, Bucky's advertisements and they're little potty puns or snack puns. This one says just here for the snacks, but you'll get one saying like potty time or uh, I like big Bucky's and I cannot lie. Uh, or I'm talking about a Bucky's on a date night. So fun little Bucky's uh, advertisements as you drive on 75 and also uh, pull offs for Dalton and other iconic towns in the state of Georgia. But a little fact about those Bucky signs though to kind of carry on the conversation. After you pass the Bucky's in Calhoun, 
then they'll get you the signs for Warner Robins right after that one. So, kind of get the Bucky's tour going. Now I'm back in my town of Dalton where I live and kind of kicking it off the little town update just to give a little nostalgia history here of an old sign that they've never taken down. Jimmy's Restaurant and Lounge. The sign is still there but the restaurant no longer exists. But I'm in the parking lot of the Holiday Inn Express alongside with Cracker Barrel here. But over here is the Market Street shops and the Market Street itself right here. And I wanted to uh, come here special for you guys to show off on what's happening in the future. So I've been doing a little bit of reading and a little bit of research, but I want to show it to you guys now. But I will constantly do updates as time goes by. But as you remember some history, Dairy Queen used to be right around here and then it burnt down to the ground. And then it eventually relocated the Dairy Queen toward Cleveland Highway in the opposite side of the city of Dalton. What they're gonna do is like revamp all of this into something more of a more of a downtown kind of feel. So they're gonna add like very updated sidewalks, a little brick pavement walkways, and I believe they're gonna be extending the Market Street Road behind those buildings here and attach it to Shields entering Dug Gap Road that way. So they're even adding another part of the road, so this won't be really a dead end spot, but they'll be adding in more traffic to go alongside the roads of Dalton because Walnut Avenue they are tracked up with a lot of traffic so adding more to it going down this direction now I'm just kind of getting a more of a feel of what it could look like in the future but kind of standing here I believe this is where the Dairy Queen was or it was over there but either way I'm kind of near where some other restaurants and some shops were at but I uh, know for a fact, like I said earlier, Dairy Queen burnt down quite some time ago. And I need to know, there's these other businesses and restaurants that are here on Market Street. You got Outback. But these shops and businesses don't get very much love. And this part of, the, part of Dalton, in my opinion, is kind of depressing. Because uh, people try their hardest to uh, do their businesses and they need to locate. But it's all about good location. For your business but if you guys look into the link in the description below you'll read on what they really would like to do to the spot because i'm super excited for something new to happen especially this side of dalton and a little bit of uh history about my life and particular little personal stories and stuff like that so i grew up in chicago illinois area in the suburbs of wheaton and warrenville illinois born and raised in warrenville for the first 15 years of my life and then the rest into my high school age I was raised in Wheaton, Illinois, and uh, there was something special about what Wheaton was like. Wheaton had a historic downtown, and it grew a lot since the area, since uh, I was there in 2021. You can check out that vlog, uh, checking out uh, my hometowns of Wheaton and Warrenville. But I kind of have a feeling Dalton's going to kind of get the Wheaton kind of feel in the next 10 to 15 years or even less than that uh because how fast things are growing in dalton especially the downtown side so i remember like downtown Dal uh, not dalton downtown wheaton was just kind of rustic or historic and a couple of abandoned places but but then uh other side of downtown wheaton was donata square and they had all their shops and all these like fun things to do on the other side of wheaton illinois so i'm kind of thinking that um Dalton is going to kind of turn into like a new Wheaton kind of feel because you got the historic downtown that's growing and kind of getting revamped. But then you got a place like Market Street that's going to be um, revamped as well and also a downtown kind of feel. So I'm really excited for this to see what the change of this is going to be because I really think that this side of Dalton really needs some love. And yeah, I I'm, I'm really excited for the project. It's going to be a a better sweet moment because um the market street's going to be going down this way and then behind these buildings here and enter through shields and dug gap and then off of shields is also the place where i go do my little walk and talk sometimes and also where i shot my first episode of my channel by the rent's nest center so uh it's going to raise the property rates but it's also going to be awesome to, to have more traffic away so it's a beautiful nightmare it's going to be for some people but it's also going to be beautiful because it's just expansion of the city 
bringing you guys to a bunch of rubble off of Walnut Avenue where the old Charlie's used to be. So here is some old kitchen equipment and some water heaters. But my friends, something good is going to happen in Dalton as soon as it's all constructed. People were thinking that Chipotle was going to be right here. But in reality, an Olive Garden is finally coming here. The running joke of Dalton has now become the true thing to happen in Dalton. And the people were thinking that there wouldn't be enough parking to build an Olive Garden here. But it looks like the iconic Italian eatery is coming to Dalton. But Chipotle is still coming to Dalton. So I have a feeling that the Pizza Hut over there will be the new location of the Chipotle. But that's just my idea, though. But we're going to go ahead and check out the abandoned Pizza Hut as it is. But my friends, I know how super excited you are. Olive Garden is coming to Dalton. And as you can see, there is the missing Chick-fil-A right over there. Looks like a little more work is being done, as you can see. I decided to pull off and check out the abandoned and closed forever Pizza Hut that once was here. So let's go check out that sign. We are terribly sorry for the inconvenience. We are permanently closed. Referred to the other location on Cleveland Highway. And of course, there's the address. So it says thank you. So this is what the old Pizza Hut used to look like. And it no longer exists. And you can't really see what's inside because they've blocked off the windows there. You can see my reflection. I don't know what they're going to do next. So if anybody knows that watch my vlogs, what this Pizza Hut's going to become, please leave in the comments below or message me personally on any of my uh, social medias because this will be something interesting to know if, uh, you know, if there's anything new going to come to this restaurant. I wanted to stop by my local PetSmart because... There is actually a cat adoption agency inside, and I do love cats. So here it is, my friends, a little bit of heaven. And I talked about my cat Midnight with the owners of the establishment. They don't think it's likely they found Midnight, but, you know, they got this cute little buddy right here. Uh, got one getting himself clean. But a lot of the cats right now are sleeping. So usually at a certain time, all the cats are active, but right now, they're just really enjoying themselves. And of course, here is the Starbucks and Urgent Care where the old Shoney's used to be. So both sides of the building are all built. All they gotta do is just install the, the equipment they need to go in there. And then we'll, the opening date, I believe, is gonna be sometime in the spring or the summer. I could be wrong about that, but probably six months or less is my guesstimation. And that, my friends, is going to do for today as we are giving a little bit of a town update, showing you guys what is happening in Dalton and what the future is going to be like within some time. And um, also just stopping off to go check out some buildings and have some ideas of what it could be. And just showing off the things that are just kind of finishing off. And of course, getting those little kitties a little attention of a little bit of heaven cat adoption agency that's inside PetSmart. So if you guys love cats, and there's a lot of good cats that are in there. So if you want one, definitely check them out if you live in the Dalton area. Or looking for just a little furry friend just to go, just to look at and just, you know, feel good for a minute. So I love cats. Cats are awesome. And uh, I hope my cat Midnight is safe somewhere out there because he was an outdoor cat. And, um, of course, I couldn't leave, let him in my house because I was taking care of him and I let, gave him a bed and a place to stay outside. But when the cold snap came through and all the rainy weather, he kind of went off on his own. Plus, I think he was out to go look for some female cats, too. And so uh, making more little kittens for the universe. Well, anyway, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed this little town update of Dalton. I'll see you guys into the next vlog. Eat well. Keep your mind walking. I'll see you guys later. It's Jake from State Farm.